How we doing, everybody? Welcome to my hotel room. I'm uh, just about to leave to go and commentate. Chris Dawkins taking on Curtis Blades at the uh, the Something Center in Columbus, Ohio. So haven't got long. Got to go. Can't give predictions on the fights, although I'm sure they're going to be absolutely phenomenal. That is my number one prediction. Check them out. Or I hope you enjoyed them because by the time this comes out, they would have already happened. Anyway, I'm just looking through MMA news, and there's one story that jumps out that I thought I'd just talk about quickly. It is Jake Paul. It's been a while since we talked about this guy. So, uh, yeah, he uh, put on Instagram this week. Ooh, he's coming back in August. Everyone get excited. I'm coming back. Um, And good, glad. You know, I mean, the last one he did provide an absolutely terrible, boring, want to kill yourself performance until he did get the knockout over Tyron Woodley. So he delivered, that saved it. But still, The point of what I'm saying here is nothing to do with his boxing career or his next fight or who he should fight. I have no idea who it's going to be. No doubt it's going to be a tailor-made opponent. I know I sound like I'm hating, but I'm not. I'm not hating. A young boxer should fight a young boxer instead of cherry-picking guys past a sell-by date from a different sport, which is what he's been doing. And I don't want to uh, repeat myself. But today... Demetrius Johnson, one of the greatest fighters in mixed martial arts that we've ever seen. The run that he went on was absolutely phenomenal. And he did an interview and he got asked about Jake Paul. And here is what he said. Oh, Mighty Mouse said, and by the way, Mighty Mouse using some colourful language here. Mighty Mouse is like, not that guy, but Jake Paul clearly evoking strong emotions uh, from one of the greatest, as I say. He says, if Jake Paul thinks he's so fucking bad at boxing and all that stuff, hats off to him. You're 3-0, and 4-0 as a boxer. Do fucking mixed martial arts. I did an interview the other day and I was like, everyone's worried about fighting this person. Let's see how much money I can make from this person. I was like, just do mixed martial arts. If you think you're that great, just do it. If I thought I was a badass boxer, I would be like, let's just box. Um, Even when they offered this fight to me against Rod Tang, I was like, I'll fight Muay Thai. Uh, For those that don't know, he's fighting Rod Tang, who is one of the greatest, if not the greatest, Muay Thai fighter that we've ever seen. He's doing a few rounds MMA, a few rounds Muay Thai, so he's backing up his words. And the point that he's making is, Jake Paul does need to just fight mixed martial arts if he's going to continue talking about mixed martial artists, the UFC, Dana White, because he's not talking about boxers, is he? You know, he's talking shit at all the big names in mixed martial arts. He's calling out Diaz, McGregor, Poirier, Masvidal. The list goes on. Obviously, Tyron Woodley and Ben Askren were the first ones, but he's making all these waves. He's making headlines. He's talking shit about MMA fighters saying, I want to fight them. But he knows that they're never, ever going to happen. Number one, because they don't box. They're MMA fighters. Secondly, they're all under contract to the UFC. So he's making these headlines, he's talking shit, he's chirping away non-stop, but he's doing it because he knows these fights are never going to happen, so he's in no danger, you know? If he wants to really talk shit about some boxers, go ahead. I can't think of any right now because that's the problem. The 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 the, the mixed martial arts are more household names than what boxers are, other than the champions, other than your Canelos and stuff like that. I don't know uh, his weight. What would he be? A cruiserweight, maybe? I'm not sure who to be there. Who is there? I'm not sure who's top of the food chain. But he's not calling anyone out. He's calling out MMA guys because he knows that that's safe. He knows that that's not going to come back and bite him in the ass. Because, as I say, I apologise for my ignorance here. I'm not sure who the big names are at his weight class. But if he was to go out there and chirp and make some noise and call them out and mock them and do interviews and do little videos on them on YouTube and take the piss... Those boxers would take the fight in a heartbeat. The reality is Jake Paul's a big star. Jake Paul is a big payday for a lot of people and certainly some younger fighters, you know, so they would want to fight Jake Paul. So Jake Paul doesn't call them out because he's being a little pussy. He can say whatever he wants. He can call out all these guys. He can think he's a badass. He can knock out Tyron Woodley. But you're not calling out anybody from your own sport. It's fucking ridiculous, Jake Paul. Get a grip. Stop talking shit. Stop hitting pads. Ooh, acting all hard. Pads don't fucking hit back. Why are you talking shit about MMA guys when you should be talking shit about boxers? Why are you calling out MMA guys when you should be calling out boxers? They are your sport. We know why. We know why. Because they will accept the challenge. And that's not what you want. Why don't you go box fucking Tommy Fury? That's a logical matchup. And one you'd probably win. You know, it, uh, I don't know about that. It'd be a tough fight for both guys. 
I actually thought Tommy would beat him, but the last time out when he fought on Jake and Tyron Woodley's undercard, I wasn't impressed with Tommy Fury, to be honest. But maybe he just had a bad night at the office. Happens sometimes. Prior to that, I thought that Tommy Fury uh, had a lot of promise, and I'm sure he has. Comes from a great lineage, great coaches, great mind for it, certainly a physical specimen. So he might go on, maybe just with the awkward style of Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor that he fought that night. Maybe that threw him off. So, you know, I'll, uh, I'll uh, give him the benefit of the doubt on that one. But why doesn't Jake Paul fight him, right? Because they're both young guys. They're both the same size. They're both boxers. You know what I mean? It just kind of gets me uh, on my nerves a little bit. But um, Demetrius went on. He said some other stuff. He said, I don't give a fuck. Swearing a lot. Demetrius Johnson, what is going on? You know, the Demetrius that I knew was a quiet little guy. Wouldn't say boo to a goose. Certainly wouldn't use foul language. Anyway, he says, uh, I don't give a fuck. What's the worst thing that could happen if I was to fight Muay Thai or boxing? I get knocked out. I go back home. I get ready for the next one. If I win, what's going to happen? I go home. I get ready for the next one. So for me, I could say I did it. I tried. As you get older, you find that you don't knock people for trying. Yeah. For me... When someone's like, ah, oh, blah, 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 you MMA guys suck, it's like, well, then come do it. If you're successful, good job. If you lose, you tried it. He's absolutely right. There's no shame in trying. And Jake Paul, I mean, he was talking, wasn't he, to Dana White, and Dana White said potentially he might have a contract, you know, but will Jake Paul sign that? I guarantee it's an absolute fucking no. There's no chance. He said he wants one fight in the UFC, uh, and he'll probably want the easiest matchup. Masvidal would destroy him Diaz would destroy him but he wouldn't even be fighting those guys he walks around at 200 pounds 205 he'd probably be a middleweight stick him in there with some of the best stick him in with Marvin Vittori watch what Marvin Vittori would do Robert Whittaker of course Israel Adesanya the list goes on he would not have a cat's chance in hell he would just get smoked but listen I'm not hating you know God bless him he's trying to make money but it just it's annoying because he's constantly... And he's going out pretending that he's the uh, the saviour of mixed martial arts. Ooh, I'm going to help you all get paid more fucking money. No, you're not. You're just trying to further your own cause. And I get that. We're all trying to further our own cause. I'm doing this video to further my own cause. I'm trying to build my YouTube channel. I'm trying to keep the audience engaged. So good for him. But don't dress it up as something it's not. That's my only issue. That's my only point. Uh, so, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to head over to... The arena in just a second. I'm going to be late. I've got seven minutes. I've got to upload this. I've got to send it to Brantendo. And tomorrow I get to go home. I've been on the road now for a very, very long time. Miss my children dearly. Sadly, I'll only be home for a couple of days. I've got to go to Vegas on Wednesday. And then Thursday I fly back to Manchester for the expo for the love of MMA.co.uk. There'll be myself, Tom Aspinall, Randy Couture, George St. Pierre, many, many great fighters. So if you want to come along and join the fun, if you're in the UK or Europe or you just want to make the trip, maybe you're in Manchester for the love of MMA.co.uk. That is the website and this is the video. Okay, got to get over there. Don't want to be late. Much love. Thank you all for supporting the channel. It means a lot to me. Uh, lots of content coming this week. You can, uh, you can bank on that. Anyway, time to go. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.